all right guys welcome back to day nine so over the course of the night i pretty much did what i said i was going to do go down to the mine and dip and pretty much just dig a whole bunch got a pretty decent amount of small stone and got a decent amount of um sand plus some coal down there as you guys might have remember from past episodes we have a decent amount of coal down in our mine so we're just going to jump out here all early in the morning and go try to find some oops some cars to break apart plus make our way over to that trader real fast since it is only four o'clock in the morning by the time we get there after scrapping some cars we should in any event i probably should get a repair kit or two since it's only level one wrench Alright. Now. Right back inside here. And repair kit, repair kit, repair kit. Where are you? Mr. Repair Kits. Right here. Okay. There. Alright. Let's get back out of here. And. On to the bike we go. Get back going. Uh, there. Picking up some chrysanthemums too to get some more red tea going. Get um, come on. more Ooh, there we go we'll grab that stuff on the way back just want to get down there and see what he has for us because if he has some rebar frames that'd be really awesome Okay, so the plan is definitely to go ahead and get a cement mixer built and get all this cobblestone crafted in the background. That way, when we get to a certain point, we can go ahead and... Let me just take this bike real fast so I don't... Oh, it's got shit in this inventory. Just hop into the field of chrysanthemums. Picking all the flowers for all the teas. You know, goldenrod teas, pure mineral water, red tea, all kinds of stuff. Pure mineral water will probably be what we go for, though. But I know I'll find more chrysanthemums by the looks of it right now compared to goldenrod flowers, at least until we can get some more seeds for them. Come on. Getting out of breath from punching flowers. Ain't that funny. Alright, that should be enough. I really can't see us needing more than that for a little while. I'm pretty sure that means we have like 50 chrysanthemums right now. And we definitely have the uh, mechanical parts we need too. Cool. We definitely didn't follow that road. That's alright. We got enough mechanical parts to get the cement mixer built, so that's all that really matters to me. I actually wouldn't really mind having my base kind of in between the two towns. Just since the one trader... Go ahead and mark him. Trader. Do this now so I don't forget to do it later. And the second trader's here. Puts us in the middle of the till. Plus a big open field like that is going to make it a lot easier to see everything. Mm, 
Look at that. Do you have a recipe for us? No. No recipe. Alright, old buddy, old pal. Many thanks. You've proved to be very Do you have any jobs. Here's your pay. Fetching clear. Buried supply. Guess we do the I fetching clear. Brilliant. I guess this kind now of where is that at? Now. Damn, it's all the way down there. Yeah, I feel like making it right making our base right here between these two towns would be smart. Let's see what you have for us. So forged iron, a bucket for all the good that does. Electrical parts, nitrate powder, candles that actually does in increase our heat. I'll buy that. So I'm going to make this later. Buy that. Steel knuckles. Uh, I'll buy the battery bank just because. He has one. Some concrete mix, just a little bit. It's not a whole bunch, but it's a thousand dollars worth of a thousand dollars worth I ain't gotta worry about. I'll buy all of that off you. And restock is day ten. Okay. Four by four chassis. Dobo shotgun. Huh. Motor tool large tank mod. I will um, I don't know. Should I buy that? I definitely buy the shotgun. That's not even a question. Like, you don't even gotta ask me that if I'm buying the shotgun or not. I'll buy the large tool tank mod just because I'll buy it now. I know I won't have to worry about it later. Um, alright, I'm going to save the rest of my money just because of where we're at. How full am I? I mean, I'm pretty full. Um, shit. Do I want to... How... I can't even move anything in there. Um... Yeah, it's not worth it with all the crap I got on me. I might as well just spin around and get back to base. That way I can drop some shit off. Since I got all this stuff for the parts. I just keep getting these cars and stuff done. Because I, I got quest over there I can do still for the other trader. That I might as well get done while I still have them. Now there's a treasure map too. Go ahead and get all these. Yeah, sorry buddy. That um that's going to have to wait till we get a bike or when I feel frisky and really want to travel that damn far. Read you. Scrap you. Put the double barrel shotgun in place of the blunder bust. Go ahead and modify that. Take this out. Go ahead and modify the double barrel shotgun. Put you in. Thinking the crippling mod probably is gonna be what I want to put in place of that. Go ahead and reload you back up. Unless I find a duck bill mod, then I'll probably put the duck bill mod inside here. But the crippling mod will probably get put in here just for shits and giggles. And I might stop. Now you know what? I'll roll with the pistol just because having the pistol with us 
it's just gonna be some extra ammo that we can, you know, use if we get into a bind. I might feel like I got two people walking up on me. Oh, the item needs to be repaired. That's awesome. Repair you. Alright, well, I'll just smack the shit out of this guy. Alright, what's going on here? Stop that. Start it again after I get my stuff back. Uh, I'm not even tempting that. It looks like a landmine, so... Oh, you know what? I do know that there is some water right here. See if there's any... Oh, my. I probably just woke everybody up, but I don't even care, because I was not trying to get fed by that damn dog. Okay. And that is why they were a shotgun. Right there. Love it. Go ahead and just loot all this stuff, because why not? Got a book, too. And take a piece of paper, too. Shotgun shells later on. Always can use more paper for shotgun shells. Never can have too many of them. Alright. Get this car, too, as well. What you got in me? Give me a book or something. Be awesome if we get an axe. Nope, just some nails. That's fine, too. Damn, you are a weak motherfucker right now. Alright, so sexual Tyrannosaurus is definitely going to be something we're going to have to spec into. But yeah, so kind of getting back to the idea of what I was talking about yesterday with the um, base we want to build. So my idea is to kind of take what me and Ben were using in the previous Let's Play, or not play previous Let's Play, it's not over, but our uh, dual Let's Play series... And kind of, you know, going up with what, damn, what we have there. Hunting pistol for not the win. I'm not even going to keep trying with that damn rabbit. Then things move too fucking fast. It's not worth the time. Um, but I'm going to keep going with what we had in our original house. And just kind of build a longer tunnel. And I think I want to build a... Uh, um, the platform up off the ground. I think I want to have the tunnel suspended. Maybe five blocks in the air. And kind of have ramp... Like a, a pyramid ramp going up to it so that the zombies won't get stuck on anything and just start smacking stuff. I'm not entirely sure how I want it. I just know that's kind of the general gist of what I want. I just kind of want to do that so that way when I do the corridor I can have blade traps on ankle level and kind of have them running straight down. I'm thinking like six on either side which would mean the hallway is going to be 18 blocks long since each um, blade trap is three blocks wide. So I don't, I don't think that's too unreasonable as far as length's concerned. I feel like that's kind of a decent size to go with. Isn't there a rabbit? It is. Cool. But I feel like that's not too long, not too short for what I want to do and it'll be you know six blade traps for each side so 12 and then I'm thinking uh, a blade trap so I'll do like a piece of cobblestone or rather a piece of cement 
and then a blade trap, and then another piece of cement, and then a blade trap, and another piece of cement, and a blade trap. And all of these blade traps are all going to be wired separately from a relay to the generator, so that way if one breaks, the other one doesn't break. Because I want to be sitting in the back of this thing with a marksman rifle at the end of it to pretty much shoot demos, which I don't think we'll be getting anywhere near demos at first, but it's kind of... I'm, I'm trying to think ahead a little bit for this series because I don't really see myself stopping this series anytime soon. I feel like it's going to be kind of the same deal with the duel where I'm going to pretty much play this series out until Alpha 20 gets released and then from there I'll kind of judge whether or not it's worth me doing two series of seven days to die but at the same time too by the time this video goes up you guys will probably have seen the first episode of the third seven days to die series i know i'm kind of spamming everybody with some seven days to die series but the um third one is a larger group of friends that are playing seven days to die all together it's two new people and then me and ben obviously i don't think i'll really be playing a seven days to die series at this point in time without ben uh but yeah the that one kind of doesn't really have a set goal for anybody it's just kind of everybody playing having fun and kind of just being goofy so you know just good old-fashioned like enjoyment of the game itself but, uh, yeah, so I think that's kind of going to be, that might take the place of the solo. I'm not entirely sure. It depends on, like I said, how everybody feels they enjoy the series based more upon views, I guess, at first. And then past that would just be if people want to see a solo, then I'll do a solo still on top of all of it. But I just don't want to spam and overdo Seven Days to Die, not only for myself, but also for the channel. So, that'll kind of be something I'll be waiting to hear from you guys, too, about what you guys want to see in that aspect. Um, oops. Because I have no problems playing this game like that. I mean, you're only talking about me playing, like, an hour a week. I know for a little while I've been uh, kind of off schedule with this game but I've had quite a bit of stuff going on plus like I said Valheim came out and I've been playing that quite a bit so I've just kind of been playing other games in place of me playing this and I've had a you know quite a st lot of stuff been going up on the channel so I haven't felt like I've been jipping anybody out from content for anybody who wants to see this I apologize that it hasn't been being put out as often as it would have normally been put out but you know as it kind of goes you know especially when you have a full-time job I mean this is definitely not something that you know most people would try to take on on top of working full-time but I do enjoy this so It kind of is fun, too, having so many different series going on, because, I mean, the recording I have set up and the upload rate I have, I can play, like, one game a weekend, pretty much, and then that game's good for a couple weeks for uploading, and then I can play another game the following weekend, and so on and so forth. And sometimes, you know, I play, all, I play every single game that's being uploaded every single weekend, but, you know, sometimes the games just get burned out, especially, like, seven days. I was just... I think me and Ben played like 16 hours or more the one weekend and I just was so burnt out of seven days that I just didn't want to play the um, dual or the, the solo series. I just couldn't do it anymore. I needed to take a break. So, you know, I'm sure you guys will understand and respect that. Because for anybody playing a game, I mean, you only can play a damn game so long before you're kind of tired of it. So, and obviously, you know, I don't want to burn anything out. I definitely like to enjoy the games. Plus, I don't really feel like I could get burned out of this game entirely. It would just kind of be like a 
for so long and then I'd be able to go back to it kind of deal. I'm going to keep a blunderbust just in case. Grab some ammo and just to make it even. All right. So what do let me put that away? I don't need the bottle of acid. Throw that in there. So where are we at cobblestone wise? So cobblestone wise, we're there. We have 250, which means I can upgrade 25 blocks of cobblestone to the first tier of cement. Um, we have a lot of cement by itself. Trader restock day is day 12, so tomorrow. And they got 3,000 coins. Um, all right, let me get the um uh, cement mixer up and running i believe that's all i need for the cement mixer it is indeed go ahead and craft one of those bad boys and huh. oh, i could craft quite a bit of stuff actually at this point um Stone spear. I guess the craft is still a club already. Only level one, but still. Um, I need five steel club parts, so it's not really worth it. Um, oh, wow, I can also craft iron tools. That's interesting. Can I craft steel tools? I cannot. All right, well, that's something else two that I can look at, look into. Let me go ahead and drop this stuff back off. I kind of feel like I want to go get that treasure just since I'm talking about buying so much stuff. That'll probably be something smart to go ahead and grab. Do I have other stone on me? I do not have stone in my inventory. Let me grab some more stone. Uh, stone. Okay. Close you. back out toss that down and I think too what I might do I think if or not if when alpha 20 drops if I do a solo series on top of the other series with everybody I think I'll do the solo series as a uh, Darkness Falls series, because it, it, like I was saying in yesterday's, or not yesterday's, last Friday's episode, I've been looking into it quite a bit here lately, and I really do like the mod itself, I like the aspects it adds to the game, I'm assuming some of it's from old school, some of it is from the creator of the mod's own personal preference, I know that there's a lot of different um, animals in it, and different stuff like that, so... Uh, I'm kind of interested to check that mod out. Not that I have any clue how to add mods to this. I, it would definitely be a Google search and play around with, just like I did back in the day with Minecraft, with doing seven zips and open the files up and adding stuff in and a lot of trial and error. But I'm completely fine and willing to try that. So that's not really something I'm worried about. But do we have? I do. Okay. Got worried there for a second. Alright, well, let's see how long it takes us to find this treasure this time. So, and then tomorrow, I feel like I will probably spend the rest of today getting some materials ready. And probably going to go hit that quest. Since it's just a retrieve supplies and it's probably a smaller house and it's still only a tier 1. I'll just run through the house with the shotgun... Retrieve the supplies after we do this treasure, obviously. And then spend the rest of the day getting supplies ready for tomorrow. Tomorrow, run around to the two traders with whatever money we have. And try to get some more cobble, or not cobblestone, get some more cement. And see if we can get any rebar frames, which would be awesome. Since obviously we haven't started mining yet for iron and then start building our next base. I know I could probably wait until the day of Horde, but I don't really want to be rushing to do this. I want to give myself some time to think it out. Because obviously, 
in the beginning it doesn't need to be as sophisticated I can kind of worry about the sophistication later I'll probably just do something along the lines of what me and Ben did cuz I like the pillbox but I don't think the pillbox works as well as I would have liked to see it work to actually use it more often cuz uh they I mean they they did break a significant amount of blocks now granted I didn't have um any kind of weapon skills so it was definitely me trying to smack them more often than not and obviously not having a bunch of stamina doesn't help with that so you know first horde problems and I feel like it probably would survive day 14 horde so depending upon how far we really get with the new base I may or may not use that again just to use it since it's already built and you know if it survives day 14 and survives day 14 if it doesn't it doesn't that way I'm not ruining my new base that I'm trying to build. So that might be what we do. Build that one in the off time in between and then see where it comes to. And if day 14 comes and I'm happy with it, then we'll just use that instead of using the old one. And that will just be a memento of this world. The old pillbox for the first horde. Getting us some levels and then, you know, us moving out from it. All right, let me find this treasure and stop talking. I'll quit jabber jawing for a little bit. Oh, there it is. All right, so not as big of a crater as normal, but, you know, as per usual, we definitely had to dig a big crater to find the treasure, which, yeah, it is what it is. You know what I do wonder though? I do wonder sometimes whether or not the uh, treasures are already spawned throughout the world and when you find the treasure maps they just kind of like show you the closest treasure for that person's name or whether or not the treasures are spawned in when you find the treasure maps. That would be something interesting I'd like to know about the coding of the game. That's just a complete nerd thing for me. Um, okay. Do... So we are empty. Minus what we just got. Let's go ahead and hit this house up real quick. Since it's only 1500, we'll go do this house real fast, bust it down, and then turn the quest in, see where the closest quest is. And if it's a quest that's right next to us, we'll go ahead and just knock that one out too. And then obviously, we can go stop. Well, I'll stop here now, actually. That way, you know, while I'm thinking about it, we can just get it done and I don't have to worry about it later be spawned back in there I don't feel like running through that house right now it's not worth it for just a little bit of c cement that we can't really even use just yet anyway since we have all the thousands sitting at the house anyway best there's no way it's that whole big POI is it there's no way Okay, it's the POI behind it. I was about to say, there's no way it's this giant strip mall. I say a strip mall is definitely like at least a tier two. What is this one? Just popping pills. Or is this the electronic one? This is the electronic one. Okay. Um, actually bike out a little bit further and uh, do we have we do let's do a chest secure storage chest craft one of you okay put you down and just drop some stuff in here real quick that we don't need and imp okay Cool. All right, let's get going. Do we want to do a two raid in this? 
what actually I kind of do after what I just got. I mean, I don't really need those per se, but at least I get the main loot. Wake up. Wake up, everybody. I ain't got time to be playing with you guys. This is definitely just raid. Get through it. Sit down, please. Pick up your drop loot since you just dropped it like that. And upstairs. And bop, bop. And cool. Awesome. Alright, so that works for me. Grab this. Somebody's downstairs beating something. Here's somebody running around downstairs. Well, we'll just close this in any event. I'm not really too worried about them, but I don't want to just get snuck up on. Okay. And yep, I thought it was something back here from memory. Alright. Where are you? Where are you at? Well, you definitely somewhere. Come here. I'm not sure at all where you are, but... Okay, now I really don't know where you are, so now it's not even worth my time. Oh, you're back here? Oh, wow. That's really not even worth my time. That's ridiculous. Alright. Alright. Repair you. I can scrap you. Use you. Switch you out. Modify. Take. Oop. Take these out. Modify you, put these in. Alright. Grab these real quick. Probably only be able to get one loot of or one quest done today, that's fine. We'll just use the rest of the time to get ourselves prepared. Since this seems like it has a little bit more stuff than what I gave it credit for. Have to remember this is back here too. He's got an advanced bellows too. And a forge. That's awesome. Okay. Um we might as well just get the cars while they're here. The loot fiend in me is taking over. Ben would be very proud right now. Oh, well, definitely look worth looking through them that trash pile just there. Alright, come on. Let's get back inside. Hundred. All right. Get back to the back room. Hey, blade trap schematic. That works for me. Cool. 
quickly, guys, quickly, because I don't have all day to do this again. like that that's electric fence post helping us out for later us down the road anything else here oh there's something right in the front door grab this all right run we don't need that get in here all right that stuff and obviously we'll grab this while it's here and bust you down scrap you scrap you use 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 um, scrap, scrap, anything else? No. Oh, it's empty. Definitely didn't read empty. Okay, and where was that last one? Scrap, okay. Go ahead and just... Hit restart real quick. And back in we go. Come on. Wake up. Upstairs. Come on. I ain't got time for this. And like that. Get out of here. Alright. Read that. Grab this. That that scrap scrap okay unlock this gotta be kidding me right now thank you for the love of god i was about to say the last chest of the fucking day and it's being a pain in the ass all right Okay. Go ahead and grab that. Oh, we got a lockpick back, so that's nice. Replaced what we broke. And scrap you, scrap you. Anything else to scrap? I can scrap that stuff for some space. And, alright, I can just drop that. I don't need one. Go ahead and get this courier satchel. Okay. Alright, now let's just kind of try to get as much stuff as we can. Fuck. Alright, I'm already full. Place. Empty store shelves. Hmm. 
<laughs> okay. Come on. Alright, so that's cool. We got a decent amount of stuff to take to the trader for tomorrow. Definitely didn't come in here the last time. My own fault. Alright, is this all looted, correct? Untouched. Oh, that's nice. Alright, well, that's cool. Now nah, we're done. Alright, and go in here, take all, go in here, dump all, can't dump anything. Alright, and on the way home. Alright guys, so we made it back to the house. I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here. I'm going to do a little bit of organization and getting all this stuff out of my inventory, plus reading what we can read. And obviously all the rest of the stuff we'll go ahead and sell to Mr. Trady in the morning. What am I wearing? Scrap armor. This is negative, but I get plus that. I'm just going to wear the heavy armor. It's not worth it. I can put some mods into that and sell that for a lot more than what I... But I can switch that out. Okay, but yeah, guys. I'll go ahead and finish doing all this stuff, and then I'll catch you guys in the morning.